Hey guys, so uh, just a little bit of a follow up here. I made the review. I wasn't thinking I was gonna do any kind of tests or anything like that, but uh, before publishing this review, I actually went and tested this uh, Minivac, Mighty Vac uh, compression tester out. I was a little bit surprised by some of the results and I wasn't exactly sure um, if this was accurate, accurate or not. So uh, what I have here is I borrowed this from a friend. Thank you, Rodney. So this is a, uh, going back there again, a Matco uh, compression tester. Made in the USA, high quality. This is a guy that uh, worked at some really good mechanic shops or a mechanic shop over his years of uh, being a mechanic. And this is gonna be pretty accurate. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run the compression test on a chainsaw with this one and then I'm going to go ahead and run it with this one and see how close these results are so we can do a bit of a comparison between these two. Okay so what I've got here is the uh, Husqvarna 440. I've got the, uh, let's see if you guys can see this, the Medivac compression tester on here. It's at zero right now. Um, I do have this tied off in the throttle wide open position. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. Actually, I already tested it on another one. It doesn't, but just so nobody says anything, hey, let's just go ahead and make it standardized here. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is give this five pulls and we're gonna see what it's at. Try to be as consistent as I can with the pulls as well. So five pulls and I'm at 125 PSI. I'm just gonna keep going here until this thing stops reading any further. Yeah. That's a lot of pulls. Okay. So I finished out at 100 and I'm gonna call it 156 PSI. Now what we'll do is go ahead and put the, uh, the mat go on there and do the exact same thing. We're gonna do five pulls and then we're gonna do a pull it until it won't go any further up. All right. I've got the uh, the Mac go on here now. It's also at zero. So both of these hose lengths are uh, basically identical. Got this one on here the same way. So we'll go ahead and do this one, five pulls. There's five. Interesting. Okay, so uh, there's five pulls with this one. And I'm at basically my 150, I don't know, it looks like about 156 to me. So I'm gonna keep pulling this. Let's see if we can get any higher than that. Couple more. So I gotta say, that's about 155 as well, or 156 as well. It's just a tick past, uh, it would drop back down a hair, but let's call it 155. Um, it's interesting to me that the other one did not get up to that after five pulls. So maybe the other one needs a little bit of extra um, pulling to actually get a, a more accurate reading on that. That is interesting for sure. Let's go ahead and try that other one one more time though, the mini back, see if we get it. Maybe I uh, pulled it wrong on the first five pulls. Let's see what happens. Actually, just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and pull this one, do the whole process again with this one too, just five pulls. Right up there again at 150. So 
get to 150 in five pulls, just a tad more in, in all those other pulls. All right, I've got the mini back back on here now. It's at zero again. I'm gonna do five more enthusiastic pulls. And again, it's not up there. It's at, uh, it's at uh, one, 130. But if I just keep going, So about eight pulls gets me to where that one was. Yeah, so about 10 pulls and I'm getting to where I am with the macro at five pulls. So I don't know. Okay, so now what I'm trying is I've got the Matco extension right here with the uh, 14 millimeter on it. And so that's gonna have the Matco uh, um, Schrader valve in it as well. So I wonder if there's something to do with the Schrader valve that's in these things. And I'll talk about that in a second, maybe, or in a different video. So let's try five pulls with this one now. So midi vac, uh, top unit, Matco bottom unit. Looks like it's the exact same fittings here. So five pulls, it did get a little bit higher, more like 136, 137. So maybe there's something to that with the, uh, with the Schrader valve in there. And I'm just gonna keep going. Five more. At 152. About 13 pulls, 153, 154. So it actually didn't get quite as high with this one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same test on one more saw just to go ahead and be kind of conclusive on this. And uh, I actually had a saw that has a really burnt piston on it. And that's the reason I was actually concerned about this uh, mini back one was the saw with the burnt piston shouldn't be reading the compression readings that I, that I was getting from it. And I was wondering if there was something wrong with mine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out and let's test that one. All right, so here we go. I've got this Pool and Pro 42cc out and uh, there is another video. I'll put a link to the description below where I go over this saw. I do a compression test with the, the mini back only and um, it had a squared piston on it. It did read lower, but it was still in the 135 or something like that range. So let's go ahead and do again five pulls and see where we're at with that. So five pulls, we're at 110. Let's just go ahead and keep going here. Well, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it, but it's maxed out right now at uh, 160 PSI. And I'm telling you right now, the piston on this is absolutely scored up. Uh, the ring is free, but very strange. Let's see what we get with the Matco. All right, I've got the Matco on here now. It's at zero, start with five pulls. We're at 145 PSI with five pulls. Ten pulls, 155 PSI. There's about 15 pulls. And here we are. Uh, so very interesting, um, yeah. 
So what I will say about this is uh, I'm really surprised that this one is getting compression readings like that. I am kind of surprised by that, but it does appear that these are almost spot on to each other. So that says a lot about the mini vac. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, stop it there. All right guys, so what do we got here? Uh, Medivac, the Matco, and I would say in conclusion, yeah, Medivac definitely takes a bit more pulls to get to the uh, the peak compression, but they both really stop within a few PSI of each other, and that really says a lot about this one, so I feel much better about this now. I'm glad I purchased this. I'm not sure what the, uh, the, the Matco one costs, but I imagine it's not cheap. You guys can go look it up. Maybe I'll, I'll look it up. It's an older one but super deluxe compression testing kit. And again, this is the Midivac uh, Professional. So uh, yeah, um, this is the one I got. I'll put a link in the description to this one again. And um, I hope this was uh, a good video for you guys. I hope it was uh, educational. And if you like this, wanna see more stuff like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you.